Hey guys, so in today's video, I'll be showing you how to keep your carbon fiber parts looking like this, rather than ending up like this one. Okay, so to keep this one looking as glossy as it looks at the moment, what we would want to do is we want to put a ceramic coating on it. So this one we're using is the CarPro Seaquartz UK 3.0 and this is what both of our cars are coated in. So I have plenty left over in the bottle. So I like to keep it around to touch up any areas or if I buy a new carbon fiber, carbon fiber part then I can put quick coat on it and keep it protected. So ceramic coating is actually really easy. The hard part is usually preparing the surface. So you want to get all swells out when it's your paintwork. You want to put a machine polisher over it, get the paint looking its best and fully decontaminate it before you coat it. So as we're just looking at coating small pieces of carbon, all we really want to do is just give it a quick clean up. So this one I've actually already put a layer of coating on when I first picked it up. So today I won't need to do a whole lot of preparing it. So all I will do is we want to quickly clean the surface. We want to use some sort of all-purpose cleaner. Uh, if it's been on the car for a while, I would then want to clay it, so you get your clay bar, your clay mitt, towel, and some sort of clay lube, and just clay it down. Uh, we would then possibly want to just give it a quick hand polish, so you just get your hand applicator pad, and the finishing compound, or if it's really swirled up, then maybe try the cutting compound. So I actually did a quick run over when I first got this with this Concourse Finesse finishing compound and just one of these hand applicator pads. So I won't be needing to do that today. All we want to do, I'll use this Bowden's Orange Agent. So we would want to just give it a quick spray. and just work that in. Just to make sure we get any bit of dirt or anything just off the top. Okay, so after giving it clean, we would then move on to some clay. Now, since we won't be doing this, we'll skip it, but if you haven't used clay bar before, you just buy them in a kit like this, you just break off a piece, lubricate it with a clay lube or a car wash, anything you'd like, and just rub it in. Just wait until it feels nice and smooth, you get all the grit away. Um, but we won't be doing that today. So what we want to move on to, since we'll also be skipping this polishing stage, is we want to give it a final wipe down with CarPro Eraser or any other isopropyl alcohol type spray that's just used to remove any polishing oils and just anything you've missed before you put the coating on. So you definitely want to use one of these type of products before coating. So same as before, we'll just give it a quick spray. We'll let it soak in for a minute. Got a fresh microfiber. And let's thoroughly wipe it in, flip over. And let's try and get this completely dry. There we 
Okay. And now we are ready to put our coating on. You notice I put some gloves on, because you definitely want to be wearing gloves whenever you're dealing with ceramic coating. So we have our applicator block, our applicator sponge, and our coating. So we'll give that a shake, open it up. Just want to put a few drops in. So that is plenty. Get any pieces out that have hardened. So then we just want to wipe it in straight strokes back and forth in the cross hatch pattern so you go first a row vertically and then horizontally get the top take it off the block let's try and get into any of these tight areas but the block will make it hard to get into and now let's put an extra few drops so now that's our spot there Okay. That's the coating in. And you, you may find it might not be easy to see. But this one is actually really easy to use, so it'll dry in between one and three minutes generally. So you just want to wait for it to to flash. Now it's definitely not easy to see. But it'll sort of give a kind of like an oil in water effect as it's flashing but I don't think you'd be able to pick it up on the camera here so the easiest thing to do is just wait about three minutes and we'll come in with a clean microfiber towel that we'll then throw out and we will wipe it down and that's it okay so it's been a couple of minutes now I can actually see that it's flashed I don't think it's going to show up in camera, but just over here, kind of see that that effect. Up top here, I can see it, but oh, I'm assuming it's not coming through on camera too well. But that's what you're looking for. If you want to run, play it safe, just give it. Uh, it's, I think it's got the instructions on the bottle, but yeah, one to three minutes is generally sufficient. So now we just want to. Get our clean microfiber towel, remembering this one needs to go into the bin as soon as we wipe this down. So, we're just going to wipe the coating off. We definitely want to get very thorough wipe because any extra that you leave is called a high spot and it'll actually. You'll see it in the sun when it's back on the car. You'll see like this sort of a smear that you've missed. And they're not 
not easy to get out. Like this, this one won't be too bad as we could just pull this part back off and just give it a quick polish. But when I actually coated my car, I left a couple of high spots that I ended up having to redo that entire panel, uh, repolish it to remove the coating and then recoat it. So it's a bit of a pain. So the best thing to do is just very thoroughly buff it out. So I think that should be all of it. And then what we really need to do is keep water away from this for 24 hours. Uh, we want to keep chemicals away from, from it for about seven days. So a car wash just with some pH neutral soap should be fine after a couple of days, but the first 24 hours definitely want to keep keep it dry. Uh, if it does get wet, then you just use CarPro's sealant. Uh, if you say if you're going to be taking it out and it may rain, that's when you put a layer of CarPro Reload their sealant on top of the coating after an hour of this curing. But we're just going to leave this overnight and then put it back on in the morning. So that's it guys, this now should bead and sheet water great for two years. Uh, it'll look extremely glossy, be a lot easier to keep clean, but the main thing we're hoping for is putting that extra layer on top is we want to protect this clear coat and keep this part looking nice and shiny. So if it lasts a year and we have to recoat it, you know, we use a very, very small amount of this, but if you're buying lots of carbon fibre parts, even if you don't want to coat your car yourself, it's worth buying one of these just for $100. You don't really want to buy one of the, the spray sealants that have the word ceramic in them because they're not really a ceramic coating. They just have a little bit of the SiO2 component in them. But what, what you actually want is you want a real bottle. So whether it's CarPro, Gion, or any other brand that you like or that you can get access to. This, this is just a consumer grade car pro product. They do make the high end ones, but I've coated mine and Letitia's car in this and they are going great. Mine's at about nine months. Letitia's is at about four months since I did and it makes washing so much easier. So I have two bottles left of this with just little bits left in them. So whenever I buy a carbon fiber part, I just like to quickly coat it and protect it. So it is that easy to do guys. I highly recommend you do it. I'll put links if you're in Australia to this and some of the other products you'll need if you want to do this. And that will be it for today's video. So thanks heaps for watching. If you're enjoying the videos, uh, please like and subscribe. That would really help to show me that you're enjoying them. And I'll catch you next time.